Hi, I'm Tim. In this video, I'm going to take a few minutes and explain how my L-Fence system works, both for positioning my work pieces on the laser and also for the corresponding placement in Lightburn. So let's go into Lightburn. I'll explain it as we go, and this won't take long at all. Okay. <clears throat> so here I have this graphic we're working with. And my fence is set at 650 millimeters across the x-axis and zero millimeters on the y-axis. So actually, I guess this would be zero and 650s right here. So I want to place the corner of my graphic right there. So I need to make sure that my top left corner anchor point is the one that's selected. If you select any other one, it's not going to work out right. So make sure that's the one that's selected. Come up here. I'm going to type in six. 650, tab, and zero. And now it is placed exactly right, right on the corner. What I do want to do, though, is I want to have a couple of millimeters of space for the cutout, just so it's not cutting right, right up against the fence. So I'll put two there, and shift tab to go backwards, and two millimeters off is 648. Okay. Now, some people might wonder, well, why didn't I go to full 700 millimeters? The main reason for that is because of overscanning. Here, let me show you. Let me go to 700 and bring up the preview. And this green line right here is the edge of my work area and the top of my work area. I'm down two millimeters, but I'm right tight against it on the left side. And all this red is where it's going to scan past. So rather than worrying about having to move it off by, looks like five or eight or maybe even 10 millimeters to make it work, and different speeds the overscan is going to be differently. I just decided to go with 650 because that gives me plenty. Actually, in fact, 648 minus 2. Use the math features. You see, now when I bring it up, I'm way far away from the edge of my work area. So, and I want to make six of these, so I'm going to do it an array real quick. So, click on the array tool. And two wide and three high, five millimeter spacing between. That looks all good. Okay. So, with all that, now I've got a total work area of 648 and two, and I'm 182 wide and 216 and change tall, which is fine because my workpiece is 200 wide and 250 tall. So let's send this to laser, get it placed, and go ahead and burn it real quick. So I'm placing the plywood against the back of the fence and against the left side of the fence. That's going to line it up exactly at my 650 and 0, like I set everything up in light burn. And I'll go ahead and frame it out just to show you that things are, are where they're supposed to be. And then we'll run it. Well, I hope you can see the benefits of using a system like this. I didn't have to frame my workpiece. I, I did it just to show you that it was where it's supposed to be, but I never frame it myself when I'm working like this. I don't have to worry about whether the material is sitting in the, in the laser square, because it is. Um, if you're interested in, in how I made this, this entire system, and I don't know if you noticed, but on the back of the L fence, there's some teeth. I have interchangeable pieces that can go in there for different jig purposes. So I'll leave a link to the video I did on that right up here. And you can check that out if you want to. Um, you can really help me out if you go into my description, click on more, and go down in the bottom. There's some affiliate links down there for some items. And there's also just a general Amazon affiliate link. If you click on that and then buy something through Amazon, it helps my channel out. I get a little bit of commission on it, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'd appreciate it if you do that. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and 
We'll see you with more light burn and laser and other content coming up soon.